Hello guys, good morning. So today I thought I would take advantage of this beautiful sunshining day that we're having by taking you guys to do some back to school shopping. Obviously I'm not going back to school this year. I graduated about two years ago kills me a little bit inside but I do know a lot of you guys are so I'm going to be trying my best to style whatever pieces I get to more school appropriate I'm gonna be heading out to the Goodwill to meet up with Jenny from where I live if you guys don't know her which I'm sure most of you guys do videos are so refreshing and beautiful and I miss her so much I haven't seen her in like a good two years now I'm also going to be doing a little giveaway with the Goodwill so stay tuned to the end of this video to watch all the details I'm gonna go because I have to catch a bus now so let's go Finally Hi. here with Jenny, so we're gonna be shopping for back to school. Don't really know where to start, but this yeah. place is amazing. Like, see how massive it is in here. Probably one of the biggest Goodwill stores that I've been yeah, to in the this city. Is definitely so. one of the best ones. We're on 61st Street. So. We're doing some BTS back to school shopping <laughs> in Goodwill right now. So yeah, we're gonna see what we can find. The face of concentration. I found this sweater and I kind of like really liked it, but then it has this like massive stain here. I can't tell if it's makeup or something. But I can't even think about like wearing this right now because it's so hot outside. Oh, this is kind of cute. Why am I getting a tank top? <laughs> but I mean, I feel like even in back to school, when you first start, it's still pretty hot. I really like this t-shirt, but it has this mysterious stain on it, like right here. I think it'll come off though. I just found this bag that I feel like I would have loved back when I was in art school because it's kind of like got this flat shape to it so you can put in like sketch pads. And it looks brand new, like it still has the tags on it and everything. <laughs> you look like you're gonna fall over with all the stuff you have on you. I think once you cut them, they'll look good. Yeah, because so right now they like oh, so weird. They're a little bit long in the crotch though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like really saggy crotch. <laughs> about bringing a tote but we're hungry and Jenny knows this place called sweet green I've heard of it before yeah it's, it's good, like everywhere good salads for sure yeah so hungry it's melting it's really hot out today So much fun thrifting with Jenny yesterday and just catching up with her. A lot of you guys requested that we collaborated together, so obviously, naturally, we had to just like meet up and do something together. But yes, I quickly want to show you guys all the cute stuff that I got yesterday. And I feel like everyone's pretty much gearing for the fall, but 
let's be real it's not going to be cold for another two months i just remember going back to school and following that trend of wanting to buy a bunch of fall stuff and just like not being ready for back to school because we're still well into the summertime in the midst of everything so first thing that i got is this cute little tank top it's striped you really can't go wrong with this piece because it's something that's very versatile very simple but at the same time flirty because the silhouette is just very loose and flowy and airy and i just i love this tank top obviously this isn't really appropriate for most high school dress codes uh, apparently shoulders are a little bit too sexy for the boys out there what i would do is just layer on top like a really nice oversized jacket to kind of give it a nice like laid back look but if you want to accessorize in like a fun and interesting way definitely go for maybe gold pieces because i feel like red just looks really nice with gold accessories maybe like the necklace that i'm wearing right now with thrifting since it's so inexpensive it's easy to get like those big bold statement pieces to kind of like experiment a lot but these are still very important and this is definitely something that i just like wanted to get originally from american apparel and i believe this one was like six or seven dollars something like that second little top that i have i'm obsessed with it's this gorgeous little aqua blue tank top kind of reminds me of something someone would wear in the early 2000s very simple but youthful at the same time because of the color and i am obsessed with the neckline just like accentuates the decolletage just a little bit somehow i'm really tan this summer and i don't think i've gone out much but this color right here looks really really nice with the tan and kind of just like makes that color pop a simple top like this makes way for more statement bottoms like maybe a little polka dot skirt or just like a white pair of jeans or something next up we have this lovely little crochet top that i picked up i just love the color i love the texture it's different from the last two tops that i showed you guys in that i feel like those could kind of have something layered on top but because this has so much texture to it just wearing a simple layering top underneath could actually work i do have to give props to jenny though because she is the first one to have found this top but she realized that when she tried it on it was a little bit too loose on her i might just add some darts along the side seam just a little bit we've got another little pink top but this time this one is originally from zara and i love the fabric that it's made out of i've just found myself to become a little bit pickier when it comes to getting any sort of t-shirt because i don't like that stiff kind of ill-fitted cotton if that makes sense this t-shirt right here kind of just like glides nicely on the body and is super drapey i'm just a sucker for fonts and this one has this really cool retro one that says stand up for love and here we have the only remotely fall thing that i picked up y'all know that i'm obsessed with yellow so i have not missed I think a haul in a long time that hasn't had this color in there i think it works because it's kind of like in that spectrum of like yellows oranges greens for the fall time but it's a little bit different because it's slightly more cool tone wearing yellow also makes me really happy and i think that something like this would be perfect to wear underneath like those slinky long maxi slips because you know the slips tend to be a little bit too revealing so what i like to do with certain slips that i have in my closet is just put on like a little turn like underneath in the colder day or if you're not into that whole like layered look you could easily just wear this with like a statement pair of plaid pants or a simple pair of jeans that I'm sure you guys are wearing every day in high school anyway I was trying my best to find a good pair of pants but I had some trouble with that being said I did somehow stumble upon this amazingly cute little gingham romper this is definitely a print that I found myself to always come back to every summertime but I feel like because it's orange it kind of transitions really nicely into the fall time i'm not the biggest fan of the silhouette of this romper i feel like i can just kind of like give it some life by cutting off the hem but instead of just chucking out the fabric i thought it'd be really cute if i just made them into ties on the shoulders i feel like it is a very simple change but somehow i just know it's going to give this romper some life but rompers like these are perfect because they do have a longer length so you can go ahead and kind of just give them that old fingertip dress coat hem you don't even have to be a professional seamstress grab your grandma's sewing machine maybe a grandpa's sewing machine and just do it so i got another romper and this one is just so cute it's got a little winnie the pooh here at the front and then at the back pocket it says bug off with a little tigger here i've been wanting a pair of pooh bear overalls for the longest time i don't know what it is i just think they're the freaking cutest thing ever and when i saw these i just like knew i needed them in my life 
Priscilla got them. Just something so easy and thoughtless to just pop on really quick. And outside of school, this is something that I would actually wear to a picnic. Unlike most people that think that you just wear gingham to picnics, I think overalls are like the go-to. As you know, this is not something that is new for me. I collect scarves and I love them so much. I wear them all the freaking time whenever I just like don't want to think about uh, this one's actually originally an artwork that's called The Triumph of Music by Marc Chagall. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I'm obsessed with the colors that it has. It has mostly this like kind of bright burgundy red wine, wine color, and it's got some mustards, a light blue, a navy blue all over it, and the print itself has birds, violins, angels flying everywhere. But I think that a scarf like this would be really cute in your hair, especially if you are having a bad hair day and don't wanna just chuck on a beanie. I personally don't think that beanies look good on me, and I know that a lot of schools ban hats, but I feel like accessorizing your hair with a scarf is a really great way to kind of get around the whole no hat dress code. I don't know if I would advise wearing this as a top in school, just because I feel like you might just have a little slippage accident. I know I've had a couple of those even wearing these for the summertime. I am so glad I did not leave the Goodwill without this bag. I was so close to just heading out the door, but then I just thought I would go back in and like look for more things. And I found this on the side and I immediately fell in love with it. I love the shape of it. It's very retro and vintage and definitely something that I don't already have in my closet. Whoever donated this just popped it into a bag of glitter or something because it has glitter all over it. It's gonna be a little bit of a project and a hassle getting the glitter off but I think it's worth it because this bag is absolutely beautiful definitely not something that you could wear to high school because I mean it's pretty small for a book bag but if you're in college you just want to pop in maybe your iPad your sketchbook if you're in art school this is just like the perfect shape for that so yeah I got her and I think for me at least it would be really great to wear in the fall time that concludes my back to school thrift haul I really hope you guys could grab some inspiration for maybe some things that you guys are getting yourselves for back to school I just wanted to add in a little bit of a good luck to you guys I know a lot of you are transitioning from high school to college and this is gonna be a huge transition in your life I remember back when I was going to college everything was just so new and so interesting and so different and if you had a bad high school experience and are going into college just know that all of that is kind of fizzled away it's not coming back and you can meet new people and have a chance to explore brand new things to start off in a good headspace and a cute outfit and I'm sure you guys are gonna do amazingly but yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more thrift hauls lookbooks and everything in between love hearing from you guys and I seriously appreciate all the support you guys have been giving to this channel it just brightens up my day. Now for the exciting part, Goodwill was not only nice enough to help support this channel and sponsor this video, but they are also going to be giving one lucky giveaway winner a $50 Goodwill gift card to help you guys go shopping for back to school. So all you have to do is obviously comment down below your favorite piece that I found in this video or your favorite piece to have found for back to school. And of course you must be subscribed to this channel because I do want to make sure that the winner is a subscriber of mine. Follow me on my Instagram and Goodwill New York, New Jersey. I will leave like all the information and links down below. But yeah, good luck to everyone. I just really wanted to do a giveaway that could help somebody out in their back to school shopping as well as make room for books and all that because I know how pricey that can get. That's all for now, folks. I am extending my love to you past the screen. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So tell me what's wrong